crazy update in the Google AI tool called Stitch, which will replace website and app designers. When I saw these updates, I just can't see the world where none of the businesses will use this tool. Crazy update, and we will dive into it, guys. So let's be ready and let's go. This is Tomáš Černovský from Tomáš AI channel. Our marketing agency has joined it over 50 million US dollars in revenue for clients over the past 11 years, and AI now helps us achieve even better results. My challenge for you is really simple. Watch these videos for 120 days, take notes and test everything. By the end of 2025, you will use AI better than 99% of people and businesses, and that's my mission. So let's go. Google AI tool called Stitch. So I would say that you should already know Stitch because uh, I reviewed this tool a couple of times on this channel, but there is an update. The first one is that uh, you can actually use Gemini Free Pro Thinking uh, in in Google Stitch. Uh, it's in beta, so just just be uh, just be aware of that. That it's not the final version, you know, with all those uh, rings and whistles. Uh, or the other things. So uh, there you go, Gemini Free Pro Thinking and Prototypes. So these are the new things here. If you go down there, you can see that you can enable thinking uh, with Free Pro. You can redesign with Banana uh, Nano Banana Pro. Uh, you can use the previous model Fast and 2.5 Pro. And if you go on Gemini Free Pro, Free Pro Thinking, you will see the Google update. Welcome to Shipments Day 3, part one, the big one. And there you go. Today we removed the ceiling on what you what you can generate starting today. Our new default agent is thinking with Gemini Free Pro. This engine uses advanced reasoning to think through your design before writing a single line of code. The community has been calling Gemini Free to good at front end and unmatched in visual reasoning. We agree it handles complex dashboards in in interest intricate DOM manip manipulation, DOM manipulation, and pixel-perfect CSS better than anything we've tested. All designs are backed by code and exportable to your favorite coding agent. The video below shows some single prompt examples to inspire you. Sound on for a preview of the new Stitch theme song. So there you go. And prototypes. And prototypes is that uh, we named our product Stitch for a reason, and today we finally let you do it. Introducing prototypes, you can now you can now select multiple screens and and stitch them together into a fully functional clickable user flow. Create clickable user flows, test interactions and animations, ask for edits by clicking dives in the on the screen, export the full context to AI Studio or other coding agents. So. These are the new updates, but this is not, that's not all guys. That's not all. Let's, let's go. So, uh, I used a prompt here, uh, the, the, the one that when, once you click on the web, uh, there you go, a user interface that allows restaurants to edit the content, blah, 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 etc. Et so you can use and try these prompts, just clicking on that and it will generate it for you just like that. You are now on the page and it's basically, you know, thinking through it, the Gemini Free Pro, you know, it co coloring outside the lines, etc., etc., etc. But we already have one prepared one. So uh, I use the prompt for the secret of Napoli, which is uh, Master Pizzal Pizzualio and Zorossi for an exclusive hands-on journey into the soul of authentic Neapolitan pizza making. So Neapoli Napoli pizza class, uh, that's the call of this, uh, that's the call of this website. It's a service, obviously, it's a course. Uh, so you have a class and, you know, uh, blah, 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 all it about the, about the master the instructor, a day in Naples, uh, you know, in Italy, uh, some reviews here, etc., etc. So this is the website that was created by uh, Gemini Free Pro with thinking in Stitch. You can obviously go here, down there, describe your design, and you can edit all those features. You can go, uh, you can change the model here again, but I wouldn't do it uh, if I if I were in a place, so definitely stick with the free pro, and you can just go that. Once you click on the design, you can like it or dislike it, good result, bad result, you can click on more, you can export it to AI Studio, to Jules, Zip, or Code to Clickboard, and there should be 
in the future. There should be the direct export tool to Lovable and some other uh, other web coding tools, which is crazy, which is cool. Uh, then changes saved. That's the <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. Uh, you can share it. And again, if you click on the design again one more time, under the more, you can see the code and you can download it or delete it. In preview, you can see mobile, tablet, or desktop. So you have all these versions here. In edit, you can edit it to the chat. So then you can basically specify what you want to do with this particular page that you have, uh, that is created here uh, in the design. And you can annotate preview so uh, there you go. You are uh, you are getting a preview of annotations editing powered by Nano Banana, and then you can basically click on here, for example, and specify what's the change that you would like to uh, what you would like to yeah you would like to go. So okay, we will just uh, escape etc cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can go like that, which is I think it's really dope. It's really crazy. So this is the this is the first thing that's you know really cool and you should definitely test this one. You can you can also edit the theme. Uh, you can make it maybe more green because you know the Italy. I don't know. Uh, uh, you know it's re reworking that etc etc etc. So there you go. And before it will be finished, guys, definitely don't forget to support this channel. I'm literally building one of the biggest AI channels out there. Uh, I know it's, you know, it's not perfect yet. Uh, we are at 300 subscribers. It's, you know, it's beginning, but it's a long way ahead of us. And I would need, and I will need your support in terms of liking these videos and also liking all these videos. If you, if you watch them and uh, they gave the, uh, and they, uh, gave you value. Also, don't forget to click on the subscribe button with the bell icon. It would mean the world to me. Thank you very much, guys. I'm sitting here in Prague in Czech Republic. So I'm not in the US or UK or Australia. So I am in the Czech Republic. Uh, English is not my native uh, native language. I, I, I speak with Czech language. So uh, definitely uh, be, be, uh, be, uh, uh, it's a, it's a really tough for me to record videos like that, but you know, uh, I'm getting better every single day. It's getting better. So, uh, I guess in hundred more videos, it will be much better. So, uh, stick with this channel, uh, stick with this channel and it will be much better. So thank you for the support guys. I highly appreciate it. Like subscribe and, uh, and bell icon and back to the stage. So there you go. You should have it. Yes, there we go. So we added theme and now we have it uh, not in a green, uh, not in the blue, but in a green color. You know, the buttons, the headlines, the pictograms, you know, the icons, etc., etc. This is really cool. But one of the top things out there are in generate uh, section. You can create some variations. You can regenerate it or you can create predictive heat map. And once you click on it, on the right hand side, you should see it. There is a notion that it's generating heat map. And what it does, it will create a heat map of your website. So there you go. It's creating the heat map of the new upgraded uh, theme and website design. What it does is it will generate the prediction. It's not like heat map, obviously, uh, of people actually clicking on these things. It's the predictive. So basically, it it takes all the experiences and all the things, all the data that it actually has on what people usually click, obviously, etc. So click, etc. etc. And it will create the website with the heat map on it. So you will understand where you are most likely leading your uh, users on your website and where they will be clicking on. So you can adjust the, the design before publishing it and, you know, uh, putting that in the production. So if you see here, which is which was one of the previous websites, you can see that the secret of Napoli, you have the request invitation. Obviously, there is the there is the heat map too, because people will click on a request invitation. Most of them will click here on a request invitation in the hero, uh, in the hero image and under the under the headline. 
Then you have the exclusive experience. Some of them will click here. Some of them will click on this one, this one, this one. This one will pop up, you know, the exclusive experience, uh, exclusive features, etc., etc. Timeline itinerary. So some of the some of them will click on the headline. Obviously, it will do nothing, right? Etc., etc. Some of them uh, will click here on these uh, on, on these uh, tabs and informations, but obviously, it will do nothing too because uh, you know it's not it's it's it won't be clickable. Oh, there we go. It's uh, it's generated. So view. Oh, there we go. Here we have it. Awesome. So let's zoom in so I can show it to you. So there you go. Request invitation. Request invitation here. View 2024. Uh, day T, if I'm not mistaken. Secret of Napoli. Exclusive experience. You know, the meet Maestro and Zorossi. Rossi. You know, on, on his head. There will be, there will be some clicks, obviously, uh, on the headline. Uh, read full bio. A day in Naples, so how the day will look like. People will be clicking here, etc., etc. Maybe on the uh, on the review and also request invitation ready to master the art. So I think that this is really crucial and really cool because you can actually understand how people will behave and what are the texts and buttons and whatever that will that they will be clicking before you actually putting it in the production which is really cool because obviously it's not 100% you know it will be you know there will be some errors there will be some mistakes in the real world it might look slightly different obviously that's for sure yes it is like that it's still ai it's in beta it's not 100% just be aware of that but if you look like for example in a one year window or a two year window in the future i just don't see a world where you will be creating your website, for example, because you will have a new cafe here or a new restaurant or, I don't know, maybe you will be a fitness trainer and you will create your own website uh, next to your social media profiles. And you will just go to the Google stage, which is for free right now. You will just create the design, maybe five designs, and you will pick the one. Then you will put it in the Google AI Studio and the Lovable or other uh, wipe coding tools. It will code it for you with the admin, with the you know, um, with the security, with all the logins in the admin, etc., etc. All these things it will do it for you. And you will also see which design is maybe best for the things that you will be selling: online coaching, offline coaching, meal prep, meal plans, whatever. I don't know. In in the fitness uh, trainer scenario, with your PT. And there you have it. You will have basically a website, a really good one, a really decent one, not the ones that people are creating in these days, you know, when clicking, eh, I need just a new website. Or, I don't know how to do it. I will just create something. You know, it's it's uh, it's look like it looks like, like a trash, but it will look very, very cool in the future. And I just don't see the world where these people won't be using this tool unless they won't know about this tool. So it might be this case, but, you know, if they will knew about this tool, this is going to happen. They will use it. They will have it really decent. You know, the conversion optimization, the UI, UX, it will be really decent. And they will publish it through these tools. They won't, uh, they won't understand a single line of code. They will just put it out there and they will have a website in maybe two hours to, all together, you know, with the, with the uh, name servers, you know, the DNS, uh, whatever, domains, etc., etc., maybe even one day, but it still will be much quicker than today. It will be much better. The website will look much more uh, modern, uh, much more cool, uh, much more up to date, let's say. It will have better features, better design elements. It will have better, uh, better story. It will have all these things. So the baseline of having a website will basically increase and it will be, it will be basically tougher to be, um, you know, successful with, you know, trash website from the you know, 2015, you will need to adapt, ad, uh, adjust it and adapt it to the new generation. So guys, that's my thoughts. So let me know in the comments if you think the same or if you still think that this is no way that people will use this tool like that. I think they will and the, the website uh, graphics and the developers will need to basically focus on you know, supporting, you know, the higher budget clients, not the clients that are basically creating their first website because they will be doing and using all these tools. That's just my POV, my opinion. You might have different one, so definitely put it in the comment section. I like the discussions around it. I like discussing these topics because I think that truth can be found in a discussion and conversation, not like this is this is the only way 
and this is not happening. I don't think that's a correct, uh, you know, approach to world and all these uh, problems that we have in the world and, you know, all business, etc. I think the discussion and conversation is the most important part. So definitely leave a comment. I really like those. I will reply to you for sure, 100%. Definitely don't forget to like this video. Definitely subscribe to this channel with the bell icon. Support this channel so we can actually create one of the biggest channels out there around AI news, AI tools, AI guides, automations, and uh, workflows, etc. Definitely don't forget to check this video out. It's a really good one. So definitely go there. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with the next one. Cheers.